The world's longest running comedy music concert series is coming from inside your house. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that went to a dark place. <laughs> Virtual MarsCon 2021 is taking place online for free on March 12th, 13th, and 14th. Hi, MarsCon. <laughs> This year's event will have live stream performances by The Great Luke Ski, Devo Spice, Worm Quartet, Insane Ian, TV's Kyle and Lindzilla, Il Nage, Beth Kinderman, Tom Smith, Throwing Toasters, Amy Engelhart, an AMA interview with Ookla the Mop, and this year's music guest of honor, Robbie Ellis. We'll also be doing a virtual Q&A with the man who has been playing drums in Weird Al Yankovic's band for over 40 years, John Bermuda Schwartz. Drum solo! For info on how to watch, go to MarsCon.com. And for info on the comedy music track, go to MarsConComedy.com. And uh, do watch out for flying lobsters. Thanks for listening, funny music fans. And I hope to see you all at Virtual MarsCon 2021. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan. And this week, I am reacting to two songs by the Stupendium about some fun indie games that were really, really popular. First up, we have What a Foul Day, his song about the untitled Goose Game. And then following that is Milk Milk Lemonade, his song about the game Cuphead. Now, both of these songs were selected via poll on my Patreon, which you can check out at patreon.com slash insaneian, as it says here. And uh, we're putting up a new poll every week. And if you're a member of the Patreon, you can vote on the poll to figure out which songs I will be reacting to next. That also gets your name in the closing credits of the videos here. If you decide to pledge a higher dollar, you not only get the chance to vote in the polls, but see the videos early, download some of my songs that I release monthly on the Patreon, and a whole lot more. So for all that information, please check out patreon.com slash insaneian. And if you don't want to support us that way, you can always just like, share, comment, and subscribe. That always helps the algorithm, and I appreciate it. But now, with all of that out of the way, let's get into the songs today. I'm excited for these. I was kind of hoping these would kind of win the vote. But honestly, all the ones that we had in the poll were ones that I wanted to see. So, you know, I'm, I'm doubling up on some of these just so I can get through the backlog quicker, because there's a lot of work there that he's done that I haven't seen. I'm going to hit play now. With the Goose Game logo, kind of. Found across the British countryside, it is known for its distinctive call, proud, majestic stature. <laughs> And for being an all round inconsiderate little git. <laughs> Who's this? The true prince of new sense. Cruise in. What you going to need a new fence? Abusing the humans of my amusement since I hatched and every afternoon since. <laughs> already, already, him playing the part of the goose is brilliant. I love the outfit. Absolutely love the outfit. That's magical. I wish I had that kind of swag, uh, but uh, yeah, that's some that's some good stuff right there. Uh, and and talking about abusing the humans for his amusement, and he's done every every afternoon since. Just just that lyrical flow, just so good. Wow. All right, just uh, barely into it, and already praising. What else would happen? It seems to be what this show has become. Who is this? The true prince of new sense. Cruise in. What you going to need a new fence? Abusing the humans of my amusement since I hatched and every afternoon since. You can look the clues, but you won't see any boot prints. Doesn't take a sleuth to deduce just who's been brewing up a feud with a bottle full of rubes. Yes, I'm coming home to roost and they're gonna need some tutoring. You can try nice. to show me, but I'm a tad imprudent. This community is soon to see some new goosey improvements. See all your property? Yes, it belongs to me. Oh, I see you disagree. Oops, it's ruined. <laughs> just the idea of stupendium running around messing with people dressed as a dapper goose man it's my new favorite superhero dapper goose man 
I, this is this is already just so good, and and I, I one of the things that I, I I love about what he does with his game based songs is the mixing of his own visuals with the game visuals and how they tie everything together. It's just the game is is great. That's the other thing is like I like reacting to things that I I've played the game for. A lot of people are asking me to review or react to uh, Bendy, his, his Bendy and the Ink Machine songs. I've never played Bendy and the Ink Machine. I, I know literally nothing about that game. Like, most of these, at least I have some sort of pop culture osmosis where I've, you know, kind of gleaned a little bit of what the game's about and, and stuff like that. And some of his songs that he's done uh, before, I didn't know were games at all. And, like, his Death and Taxes song, I went out and got the game after it because I loved it. The Only Cans theme song that he did that I, I did last week, I haven't downloaded it yet, but I do have plans to. It, you know, so there is that, you know, it's going to get me interested in the game, but I feel like with Bendy and the Ink Machine, because there's a lot of lore, and I know a lot of people like that, that I kind of want to play that one first before seeing his song with it. You know, I, I'm, I'm of two minds about it, so I hear you asking for it in the comments, and I appreciate that, but... I think I'm going to try to play it first. Maybe. We'll see. It's on console, so I can. But I don't like gaming on PC much, honestly. I was born with a controller in my hand rather than a mouse and keyboard, so it's just me. I waddle on to the allotment, squatting the shallots, they make off at half the plop of your watching. Pop Jim, pour and have the gobble of his stock, tell him off to see the shops. If you wonder where your crops went, run off with your onions, pluck a couple pumpkins. I don't even eat them, I just steal them and I dump them. Nothing's more fun than befuddling a pumpkin, huddled in the shrubbery while smuggling your luncheon. Didn't knock, I just had to grab a quick fix, leave it unlocked. I'll be back for cabbage picnic, pick and mix, picking on a scared kid, mixing up his glasses on his ass while I scarper with his hair fix. Nice. Wasted again, chasing water down the way. We battle up to wear and we're all about the break. Living in fear of the terror from the lake. What a bell day. Wasted again, chasing water down the way. We stuff and pull a sage in the oven on a tray with the RSVCA. Say the bugger at today. So we dump it through the pain of another bell day. Again, another banger of a chorus. It's just. All of them are so damn catchy. Why? Why do they all have to be so damn catchy? I get them stuck in my head for days after. It, uh, it's not fair. Ever hung at hung? Ever talking over buckets and they drop and they bunk on the noggins of flunkers who thought they could bunk and they want to apologize. Tough luck, I'm off with your crockery. Dude running around in the background with a bucket on his head. It's just... It's silly visual comedy and I like it. And that's... And that's uh, again, I, I'm coming at this from a perspective of a comedy musician having visuals that don't just repeat what is in the lyrics but help enhance them. Yes, he talked about plunking them on the... I forget how he phrased it. Uh, but... As I topple over buckets and they drop and they bong on the, on the noggins of plunkers. Uh, and you have the plunker running around in the background with the bucket on his head, it's it's not just repeating what he says, but it's kind of enhancing it by seeing the aftermath of, of what he's explained in, in the song lyrics. I think that it helps enhance uh, the, the song video it, itself. Visuals that are not just, you know, showing things, but also kind of like elevating the joke by showing different outcomes. You know what I'm trying to say. I've said it before in these videos. Yeah. And the plonkers who thought they could conquer me want to apologize. Tough luck, I'm off with your crockery. I do beg your pardon. I think you're in my garden. I've decided that it is, so please don't be disheartened. I've lived the fittest, and it harkens back to Darwin. I thought that we were British. Did you have a lip to harden? He stole the I thought that we were British. Don't you have a lip to harden? The old stiff upper lip. Uh idiom, uh, very popular in Britain, uh, that is brilliant. That is an excellent line. Uh, and again, it's, it's, it's a tribute to his lyricism that he's able to kind of flip the idiom into something that kind of fits within the rhyme scheme that he'd, he'd done. It still brings to mind the idiom without actually using the idiom itself. That's great. 
Think you're in my garden. I've decided that it is, so please don't get it. Harden the survival of the fittest till it harken back to Darwin. I thought that we were British. Don't you have a lip to harden? He stole the keys to the gate, put me right in the lake, made me crispy, throw it up to run away. He read my roses and blew my day. Locked me in the garage, ran me to the marketplace. <laughs> and from the pub, the messy with the punchers. Made up for me a monocle and left me on me bum. The big scary bird gave me off with the crack. Stop a plane, made me pay the shop, ladies, we back. Not the fences, I'm on the offensive, a feathery devil who revels in senseless attempts at upending your endlessly friendly pretenses. Your temper's expanded. Oh, was that expensive? I'm a bit grateful. You ought to be grateful. A face off with nature is basically staple of countryside living. That's just what I'm bringing. Occasional chaos, but awfully tasteful. What a real day, my stay. I love how well this captures what it's like playing the game. Like, all the scenarios are exactly what happens in the game. The game is very short. You can beat it pretty quickly. Uh, I, I don't think I spent more than an hour or two on it, and there's an even mo there's even a mode where, like, if you get through each part quickly, you know, there's, there's a bell that goes off after a certain amount of time that you're, you know, you should be finished that particular section by. Um, I'm not... I haven't done those. I, I haven't sped run the game or anything. Sped run? Yeah, because it's it's the past tense of speed. I haven't speed ran. Which which part do you put in past tense? Which one of those two verbs? Anyway, I haven't done that yet. I haven't done a speed run of that game yet, so I haven't done the timer to get the trophies, obviously. Uh, but I've still played through the whole game, and uh, you know he's he's bringing the aspects of it to to the song, and then playing the other characters, or voicing them at least, in those quick clip segments of them coming up and saying what he'd done is exactly what you're doing to those characters in the game, and, and I enjoy that. That's fun. It's it's something that you see a lot in nerdcore songs about video games and stuff, but because this is already a funny game, bringing the humor of that forward in the song is also uh, fun to do because you're kind of elevating not just the humor of the song, but also elevating the humor of the game. Chasing water found a way we had it up to wear and we're all about the break. Living in fear of the terror from the lake. All the terror from the lake. Christ did a game, chasing water found a way we stepped and pulled a sage in the up and on a train. Also, the the accent that he's using for chasing the waterfowl away just reminds me of trying to get the swan and hot fuzz. Uh Peter Ian Staker. Piss taker, uh, in in Hot Fuzz, uh, talking about the swan that got loose. The accent is reminiscent of the same accent uh, of Peter Ian Staker, uh, who you know a lot of people know as also as I was the character's name Webley from Portal Two, and obviously uh, a bunch of other shows and things and stuff he's done. He's been in a billion things. And for some reason, I can't think of his name right now. But you know who I mean. Pop culture. Yeah. That's obviously a British thing, by the way. I'm sorry to stop again so quickly. But uh, RSPCA. Uh, I'm not, not sure what that is. But, I mean, I know what the ASPCA is. Because I'm American. And I'm assuming RSPCA is the same thing, but slightly different by one letter. Sure. Gonna cook him. Yeah. I'm sticking my neck out and setting the borders. A little respect for the new pecking order. You call me a hoarder of menace of thief. New pecking order. Puns? I love them. Have you thought that I'm all that you've got the relief from the boredom ensured by a rural existence of pickets and crickets and picnics of systems to call me sadistic is far too simplistic. I'm twisted, but only to give you assistance. They've all got it in for me, living in infamy. Mischief's my gift at the cost of your dignity. Every day that, those bells. that I'm given, I say it's only right that you give me that ribbon. <laughs> they tied the ribbon on him. So good. And the gazebo. Uh bravo. Bravo. Thank you for watching, and a huge thanks to my awesome patrons for making this video possible.
If you enjoyed the song, win your way over to the playlist for further listening. People like to see like, comment, subscribe, ha have me listen to the, the tag at the end, and I... And before you go swanning off, swanning off. At the Patreon too. Thanks for I appreciate the, the extra right jokes now. that he throws in at the end there. And now, into the second video, Milk Milk Lemonade, Two Cups 100 Puns. This one... I'm feeling a lot of eye-rolling happening already, but I'm excited for that, and I hope you are too. Uh, I haven't finished Cuphead because, you know, it's hard, but I have I've gotten through a, a decent amount of it. Um, but yeah, it's a, a game. A game is tough, and uh, I'm looking forward to the Netflix cartoon. A couple friends of mine are working on that. So, uh, you know, excited to see that come out. And, uh, yeah, the game's great. Let's, let's get into the song. Listen up! There's over 100 memory songs hidden in this song! Should I have paired this with... Should I have paired this? Should I have paired this with uh, Only Cans? Because they're both beverages. Can Only Cans had a lot of puns in the third verse just with the word can. But this one is all beverage puns too, so I'm okay with pairing it with this one because that other one, last week was all love songs, love songs, air quotes, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, vent making noise. Hang on, less noise. Can you find them all? My wife and the other are making noise too. Can you find them all? Stick around for the end of the answers. Oh no. It says run and gunning, but it looked like his mouth said rum and gunning, which, you know, it is a drink too. I'm not going to stop and pick them all out because it would be way too much pausing. I already pause enough as it is, but I still want to talk about some things, so. Just, it's going to be a thing. All right. I can't believe he's going to give, like, an answer key at the end. Like it's a word jumble or a crossword or something. That's just bravo already. Brewed up and running. He did the kettle. Alright. Kids inside a health casino that they know bitter. What do they know? One so much had a mountain do King Dyshear as would pay the One so much had a mountain do. At D U E as in like a payment is due. Had a mountain that they won so much. There was a mountain. Do to the. Um, uh, it's good. It's good. Puns. Puns happening already. Oh, uh, I. I said I wasn't gonna stop on every line, but I keep. I keep talking about it. I just. It's hard not to. It's already quality, and we're barely a minute into the song. Sorry. Sorry. Milk, milk, lemonade around the corner, Satan waits. That's not how the uh, childhood rhyme went. So this is why I had been hesitant to, to listen to this song, because the original song's a bit scatological. Uh, so uh, that's that's good here. That's, uh... We've got three straws. Is that a smear frame, or...? Because I thought he only had one straw in his head, but we'll see. That's, uh... And just, you know, Sprite and Dew and Tab, they're all names of beverages. It's just puntastic. A real high class boat. Milk, 
milk, lemonade Around the corner, say them wait Suck it up, you get to pay Don't forget the deal you made Yeah, it was a smear frame All swept up on a gateway This panther is, these leather is to ever get away This bargain really takes the Pino Frost and shorts, no cappuccino I have to stop on this one. This bargain really takes the Pinot, as in a Pinot Noir, which is a type of wine, but takes the P, P-E-E, -E, comma, N-O, just, yeah, okay, I just, <sighs> that, that's quality. That's, that's a quality pun. I'm, I'll give them to I'll, I'll give that one to him. Good lord. <laughs> Beverage needs leverage. It's great. Caps or chinos? I saw the lyric there and I didn't think in my head of saying it quickly like you would in a rap for, for cappuccino. Caps and chinos. I, you know, hats and pants. But... Cappuccino, coffee, drink. I'm trying not to stop on every line. I'm trying. I'm failing. But I'm trying. Let's let's do that a third time. All swept up on a gateway. This panther is he's never is to ever get away. This bargain really takes the pinos, draws and shorts, no cappuccino. Infernal bailiffs to pay a bailiffs. Hardly what I call a dream job. It's two cups, one apocalypse, so you can start ticking up your list. All the wine and brew to buck with his low snap can happen. Smash like crystal and let's monsters out to get me. I won't be shy at him, build the Pepsi. Okay. <laughs> I have to bring it back there because there's a there was a couple that came by. I'm filled with Pepsi, obviously Pepsi. The one he he says just before that uh, is uh, whoop, that was not far enough back. Good lord. Uh, smash like crystal, or cristal, which is I think how he says that there. Uh, brutes, uh, just. There's so much. There's so much. Oh, there's a hundred. I... <laughs> ah. It's fine. This is good. Like crystal and let's monsters out to get me. I won't be shy at them. Fill the Pepsi. I'm a rock star. I got the moxie. Today, Colette, my demonic roxy. Rock star and moxie. Moxie I had on my old taste test show. In Zanian Taste Tests. It's got a bitter aftertaste. But it's a soda. It's, it, it, you know, if you want to call it a soft drink or canned beverage, whatever. Yes, drinks, puns. I'm surprised. I guess because he did this song, he didn't have these kind of puns in the Only Can song. And also because the game Only Cans doesn't use real soft drink names. It does, it makes up their own. Wow. This is, all of my brain power is just oozing out my ears at this point. This quality. Quality. <laughs> Not coroner. Call the coroner. Which is similar for Corona, which is, we're not talking about COVID. We're, we're talking about the beer, the alcoholic beverage. I'm not stopping on every line. I can see you not believing me. I can tell that you don't believe what I'm saying. It's okay. You don't have to believe me. I mean, it's not like I've given you evidence to show that I'm anyway <laughs> my cup runneth over sure that's uh oh. battery's dying on my laptop
Serving up. Seven up. <laughs> Another canned drink. Solo cup. <laughs> oh dear. This is such a bop. Oh my goodness. Star by. It said star by in the lyrics, but it, it sounded like he does it Starbucks. I think most of the puns are coming from what he's saying versus what's written to imply just inserting drink related puns into things. So good. Oh, that's so good. And also the barbershop quartet playing the game. It's good stuff. Yeah. Call the doctor peppering my enemies. Dr. Pepper, I'm not stopping. Ah. And also, I'm almost running out of battery power on this, so I'm trying not to stop. <laughs> I love the ones that carry over to the next line. Like, send this captain to the morgue and... Captain Morgan. And uh, then it's on to kill a Gorgon. That's a great line, just by itself, without the drink pun. And the uh, the line before the Sailor Jerry rigged the game, that's uh, Sailor Jerry's another alcohol. I think it's a uh, a rum or something. I don't know. I don't drink alcohol, so I don't know. But uh, uh, so much. Yeah, Keel, Big Red Bully, Power Thirst. <laughs> Slice. <laughs> There's an answers vid. Oh. <sighs> okay, there's an answers video. I, I wasn't planning on doing the answers video here, especially since this is now running out of power. But I, I think we pointed out a good chunk of them. I know there were some that I missed because I was trying not to point every, every single one. But it's, it's a lot of rapid fire puns. We'll just leave it at that to know that. I might watch the video on my own to see the ones that I may have missed because I know I missed some. But... It's still so quality, the amount he fit in there just by lyrically flipping the name itself into a, a more meaningful phrase in the song itself. Like, you know, call a doctor, end of sentence, peppering my shots, beginning the next line, is, is the link between doctor and pepper. And Captain Morg and, you know, you feeling the morgue, which is the place for dead bodies, but saying morg and as Morgan, just, and, and, and then having it rhyme with Gorgon, there's so many good ways that he flips the rhymes to make them A, the pun, and B, fit the song so well, and C, have it be, you know, just able to be rhyming with the other lines that come through, you know? Here's, here's a specific phrase that I'm doing, but I'm also making it a pun, and I'm also making it rhyme with, you know, the regular words because it's a, a well-known phrase, but I'm fitting it in here. I'm, I'm not saying it as well as I wish I were saying it, but, you know, you write songs and they rhyme. That's the thing that you do. But, you know, just, I, I feel like the skill that's used here is so... 
it's hard to describe. You know, it's it's obviously very very skilled. He takes a lot of time to to write such uh, intricate layered rhymes to have like those three types of, of layers that I mentioned in them. That's just impressive on all levels to make me not be able to verbalize what I'm trying to say. Holy crap. That was awesome. Uh, thanks for joining me on this one. If you guys thought that was awesome too, check out the original videos without me yammering all over them in the links in the description below. Uh, also, if you want to help decide which songs that I react to next, you can vote in the Patreon poll by joining my Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian, or please just give me a like, share, comment, and subscribe. That always helps too. We'll see you next week. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye. Was I ever in the Brotherhood at any point in time? Honestly, uh, if you ask me, it wasn't in this timeline. I checked through my back issues, and I'm not going to defend this, but it happened in a story penned by Brian Michael Bendis. Who? Let's end this line of questions. Yes, I'm, I'm here, here to kill, kill you. you. Ah! And once it's done, I'm the one you need to send the bill to. I'm the mouthy mercenary.